All right, what's going on guys? It's Austin Silver. It is Tuesday, August 29th at about noon. I wanna go over what happened last night, what's been going on since yesterday. There's a lot of stuff moving around between news events and actually in between different brokers. And a lot of people have been asking me, what's going on with Trader's Way? So I wanna explain it to you and clear the air. You understand my opinion, the way that I teach it to my students. And it's really, it holds through through the entire market. And I actually can probably almost say with certainty that I would carry this over to say the manipulation that we're going to talk about applies to penny stocks, regular stocks, blue chips, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if it applies to options and futures, but I would assume that there must be. Um, here's why. I think that there's so many unknowns right now, guys, that people try to tell you they know this about that or that about this. It doesn't work. There's just so much information out there right now. You should see that in, in proof through the internet that there's just this unlimited information that somebody has an edge on you. At everything you're doing on this computer, somebody's got an edge on you. And if you apply that into this market, someone's got to make money. Someone is treating this like a business. My mentor taught me how to look at the market just like those people on the other end of the screen. That's why I've been able to become substantially more profitable over the last two years since trading this strategy. So today we're going to talk about what's going on with Trader's Way. First, we're going to start on UJ. This is UJ last night. Last night at 5 p.m. Eastern time, which was about 6 a.m. Japanese time, we had North Korea launch some type of missile over Japan into the Pacific Ocean or something like that. I don't know. They shot a missile. That's all I know about it. I don't follow CNN because it's fake news. Anyway, when they shot the missile, it caused the markets to tank. All the JPY pairs started to fall. All the NZD and, AD and uh, Australian dollar pairs started to fall. However, there's some differences on your brokers. So let's start here with Trader's Way. I wrote here, Trader's Way grabbing more orders. I want you to take note of this huge pull up to the Mayo. Huge pull. The day starts right here. Here's your day separator. You see my dotted line. The day starts, it drops one, two candles, three candles, pulls back real hard, and then three solid pushes down. These are 15 minute candles. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on Oanda. Here's the 15 minute on Oanda. Start of day is right there dotted line. One, two, three. No pull up. Where's the pull? It should be right there to the Mayo. And it's not there. Look again. There's no pull. There's your pull. Proof that this broker here, where you're looking at his trader's way, had to grab more orders from the previous day session. We're coming into the end of the month. That could be a reason they needed to grab more orders and make their quota, hit some people's stops. Um, it's also NFP week, but most likely, if you're going to trust me and say that there is manipulation, you could say that after the three initial candles of drop to start the day when the news came out, because everyone saw the missiles being launched on TV, people were tweeting about it, that causes the market to tank. Traders Way said, you know what, we are going to let it tank, because that, that's fine. We want that you know, to continue the market trend. We want people to be confident in that direction, but we're going to hit everybody's stop loss first. So when it pulls back here on this stop, that's a 45 to 50 pip pullback. This whole box is 90. You can see down here. So that pullback stopped everybody out. Nobody had stops higher than that. Everybody knew this was falling, but they grabbed you here on Trader's Way. Here again on EURUSD, you can see on Oanda here in the uh, yellow circle, we had two really great entries present. These entries didn't end up working if you were on Trader's Way because of this. So this one pulls down about 27 pips and actually ends up stopping you out if you were taking EU long here off the entries that we would get. So Wanda would have kept you in for 98 pips. Trader's Way here would have pulled you down and stopped you out before then moving up the full 100 pips. So it's weird. You can't really explain, explain why the brokers do that, but that's how they work. That's the way that they use their back-end software to grab orders. I guess what I really should say is just that this is, these photos prove that the market makers grab orders. This proves that different brokers have to move in different ways sometimes to get orders, whether you blame it on the end of the month or not. I guess that's the real way to explain it, is that they do stuff that we cannot really understand. We don't know what the limitations of it exactly are, so we just, just try to avoid this kind of stuff. We, that's why we don't trade news. That's why we stay out of the market at times of day that we know we shouldn't trade, and I guess that that's really why our strategy really is the best because it keeps you out of the market when this stuff happens. We teach you to avoid news and not swing trade. And if you do, you would have gotten fucked up last night, huh?